Hey, good morning to all the boys and girls. We start with a bit higher concept. Last time we have done your aerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration. Now we start with the respiratory system in human beings. Now the respiratory system in human beings basically has one of the big organ which is involved. We are calling it as water, lungs. Lungs are called as pulmonary. Okay. So this is the word which we use in medical term. So we are calling it as pulmonary organs. So even the, your blood clap capillaries which will be your supplying blood to the lungs will be called as pulmonary capillaries. In this way we will be using the word. So we are calling it as the pulmonary organ. Now the exchange of the gases through the lungs will be called as what your pulmonary ventilation. Exchange means you are taking in and giving out. Ready? Now this pulmonary ventilation is based involving two steps. Generally we call this as your breathing. Normal cases. But now we will take it in detail. It involves taking in of air. So we are calling it as inhalation. And giving out of the air. We are calling it as water exhalation. We can also use it in other words. That is called as inspiration. Or we can all call it as your expiration. As you wish. You can use the words by yourself. The intake of air, thick and exit of air. No problem. Now we move to the next one. We, these are the organs which are involved. We have what your nose. Nose. Then we have the openings called as what your nostrils. It goes down into the cavity. We are calling it as nasopharynx. Thick. And this nasopharynx opens up into comes here. It has now the tube. Now this tube, we are calling it as what your trachea. The opening of the tube. The first opening of the tube is called as glottis. Glottis, let it be your this opening called as your glottis. Over the glottis, there will be form of a muscular flap like organ, a sort of covering, a sort of lid. And this lid, we are calling it as what? Epi short glottis. So this epiglottis will prevent the entry of what? The food into the trachea. Sometimes it happens. Now when we talk during the your taking food, thick, we start sneezing, we start coughing. This is something which happens like that. So epiglottis prevents the entry of the food into the trachea. So this is epiglottis, glottis, glottis. Then we have what your trachea, which is called as the windpipe. Now this windpipe has something called as your this rings. We all have these rings. These rings are not complete rings. These are C-shaped rings. That means rings are actually from here, but from the back it is not there. Now these rings of the cartilage, sure, are some of them which prevents the collapsing of the trachea. Sure, when we are exhaling, then the trachea should not collapse. So rings of the trachea, thick, prevents from the collapsing. Then we have something called as goes down, we are calling it as bronchi, plural, similar we are calling it as bronchus. Then we have bronchioles, then we have alveoli or alveoles. We will try the sort of demonstration. Now, this is what I have. This is what I have, a sort of your. Could you all see? Sure. Now, these are your lungs. So, lungs are situated in the cavity. From here to here, we are calling it as chest cavity. And from below we are calling it as abdomen. Chest cavity and abdomen, in between them there is a sort of your muscular membrane. The name is called as what? Diaphragm. Ready? Now, once again we start. So it goes through the trachea. So this is the your hole you are seeing it as trachea. Over the trachea, trachea this is a, we are calling it as glottis. Over this will be sort of water, epiglottis. It goes down. So now let's go. So this is your trachea. Can you see these bluish lines? So these bluish lines will be called as what your rings of the cartilage. Okay, so cartilage is rings. So this will prevent the collapsing. So trachea goes down into these two your structures. We are calling it as water. Each one is called as bronchus. Bronchus moves into the pipes called as water, bronchi holes, and finally it reaches where your pardon. Alveoli. Ready? So these are the lungs. Take the heart will be situated in between. Is it okay? Now we take like this. Now if I actually turn this, can you see these your 
your these are your bronchioles these are your colors your, your this greenish which these are your bronchioles and they will be what your alveoli ready now one of the alveoli will take it as a demonstration shall we ready now this i have prepared creole jack this is a mini sure mini model of now, now let uh, this be one of the alveoli this one balloon small balloon balloon maybe one of the alveoli ready now let's go for the steps inspiration so air moves into the nose then nostrils then nasopharynx then glottis covered with your shawl if you notice then moves to the tra trachea then bronchus then bronchioles alveoli and finally into your ear blood capillaries this moving in will call us inspiration this will moving out will call us expiration now let's go to the mechanism ready as soon as the diaphragm goes down chest cavity expands air moves in so this moves through this is the step nose nostril nostrils nasopharynx glottis trachea then bronchi bronchus finally to the alveoli ready let's check now this diaphragm goes down watch the balloon this diaphragm goes down balloon balloon expands why because air has moved into the balloon now this balloon say for example this is one of your alveoli so finally i am saying that through here the entire through the trach trachea then is your bronchus bronchioles and finally it moves to into order alveoli so when your diaphragm goes down it is what your starting of inspiration when diaphragm goes out expiration could you understand once again see so this is your inspiration expiration can you hear could you understand when we take in and we breathe out come on we make a sound so this is what can you understand the mechanism air take is taken in moves into nose nostrils and most of the your here this sure goes through your nasopharynx pharynx trachea then is your come on come on this bronchus bronchioles and finally your alveoli so once again so this diaphragm goes in air has moved out in during expiration the diaphragm comes up chest cavity contracts come on so internal volume becomes less it pressurizes whom the alveoli so from the alveoli things sure goes to what your come on bronchioles bronchus trachea glottis come on nasopharynx nostrils and nose so this is something once again so diaphragm goes down is the starting of what your inspiration theek it goes down things has gone in goes up the volume collapses due to the contraction of the your thoracic cavity or chest cavity what it is called as a shock so it pressurizes the alveoli the alveoli squeezes gives out the entire air so this is once again diaphragm goes down the chest cavity your expands inhalation come on the move the air containing o2 reaches up to water alveoli and finally from alveoli to water blood capillaries now after cellular respiration the the opposite will take place the co2 from the alveoli sure from the capillary to the alveoli to the bronchus thick bronchi bronchioles this will finally it will come to the nose so once again this is your inspiration could you understand this as i do like this the alveoli or that balloon inside it expands or inflates sure as i push the diaphragm the balloon or the alveoli get collapse could you understand a demonstration once again so this is your inspiration expiration could you all understand show me the mechanism now this is can be very easily you are understood by the help of this kind of stethoscope
Ready? Now the doctor utilizes this stethoscope, puts it into your ears, and then it this is the your diaphragm, this is your lung, is put on here so the doctor can understand when you are breathing in. The chest will expand, the air will rush inside. So doctor can feel the movement of air. When he tells you or she tells you the doctor, your move tells you to actually expand. The, when you deflate or give out your lungs, once again the doctor can hear it through your stethoscope. So this can be used as a sort of mechanism to understand your inspiration and expiration. Do you all understand? Sure. Thank you.